Everyone knows India's heroes on the pitch, but the credit for their success has to go the team behind the team, the coaching staff. Let's begin by sharing a little bit about the coaching staff with our viewers and we will play out some of those visuals on the screen as well. With a glittering career spanning decades, the wall of the Indian cricket team, Mr. Dependable on the pitch for years, is none other than Rahul Dravid. He is now driving the current Indian team to its new heights. Under Rahul Dravid and his coaching staff, India has seen a success rate of nearly 72% in international tournaments and bilateral series, both at home and abroad. Alongside Rahul Dravid are the batting coach Vikram Rathor. Hailing from Jalandhar, a prolific scorer in first-class cricket, Vikram Rathor piped some big international stars to secure the job and has been instrumental in Team India's success. Dravid is also assisted by the former right-arm pacer from Mumbai, Paras Mambre. While national team success eluded Mamre in his playing days, his success with Indian bowlers, especially the likes of Mohammad Shami and Mohammad Siraj, is truly worthy of high praise. The fielding department, meanwhile, of the Indian cricket team is overseen by T. Dilip. Dilip is probably the curiosity of the batch, having absolutely no professional playing experience whatsoever. The career coach from Hyderabad has recently become something of an internet sensation due to his videos and the fielder of the match medal ceremony after every match this World Cup. So like I said, that was the team behind the team. I'm going to meanwhile go across to my colleague Ananya Bedi, who joins us from the Narendra Modi Stadium, where our men in blue will be playing against Australia today. Ananya, over to you. Take it away. इस वक्त हम नरेंद्र मोदी स्टेडियम के बाहर मौजूद हैं और आप देखिए लोगों में जोश कितना हाई है अभी से लोग जो है वो क्यों में लग गए हैं अंदर जाने के लिए जिनके पास टिकट है मैच देखने के लिए अलग एक्साइटमेंट जो है वो लोगों में यहाँ पर नजर आ रहा है और देखिए आप कहते हैं ना मेन इन ब्लू जो हमारी जर्सी है उसमें लोग किस तरह से यहाँ पर देख रहे हैं आप एक अलग लेवल का एक्साइटमेंट जो है वो यहाँ पर लोगों में नजर आ रहा है क्या लग रहा है मैच देखने के लिए लाइन में लग गया सवाल क्या क्या उम्मीदें हैं क्या एक्सपेक्टेशंस है आज टीम इंडिया से हंड्रेड परसेंट जीतेगा पता है हंड्रेड परसेंट जीतेंगे यस टफ फाइट होने वाली है ऑस्ट्रेलिया के सामने ऑस्ट्रेलिया थोड़ा टफ है लेकिन यहाँ पे आपने होम ग्राउंड पे इंडिया डोमिनेट करेगा और इंडिया जीतने वाला है कहाँ से आए आप मुंबई मुंबई से मैच देखने के लिए क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन है कौन फेवरेट खिलाड़ी आप विराट कोहली सो या एक्सपेक्टिंग दिफ्टी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी एज वेल आप कहाँ से मुंबई क्या उम्मीद लग रही है आज टीम इंडिया से आज तो जीतेंगे बड़े मार्जिन से जीतेंगे अगर पहले बैटिंग कर रहे तो अगर आप अलग ही एक्साइटमेंट है मुझे लगता है कि मोस्टली लोग लग गए हैं क्यों में अंदर जाने ये अभी से शुरू है हम जस्ट वेट करें कि कब अंदर जाए और कब मॉल में ये करें आप आप पैसे देखने के लिए लाइन में लगे हुए हैं हाँ जी कहाँ से आए हम डेली पेंट कराया आपने तिरंगा अलग अलग तरीके है चेयर्स कर रहे हैं आप इंडिया को क्या उम्मीद लग रही है आज क्या रहने वाला है इंडिया से क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन है इंडिया से एक्सपेक्टेशन कुछ नहीं फाइनल है पूरा बिलीव है की कब लेके जाएंगे घर यहाँ से रोहित शर्मा का सेंचुरी एक्सपेक्ट कर रहा हूं मैं इस बार रोहित शर्मा अगर हम बात करें पिछले दस मैचेस में हम जीते हैं आज ग्यारहवा मैच है फाइनल मुकाबला है 2003 का बदला लेना है क्या लग रहा है आज टीम इंडिया बदला लेगी डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली 100 परसेंट डेफिनेटली विल प्ले गुड क्रिकेट एंड वी विल विन दर्ल्ड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस फ्रॉम द स्टेडियम देर टू गिव अस अज फील वॉट रियली है राजकुमार शर्मा हु इज द कोच ऑफ आवर बिलावेड Virat Kohli I'm also being joined by Anurag uh, Pas uh, Pisara cricket journalist also with us on the broadcast let me begin with uh, if I can Mr Rajkumar Rajkumar ji thank you so much for taking out the time today is a very crucial day especially for your uh, you know student Virat Kohli there as well he is of course like I said everybody we spoken to since morning especially the kids they have one name on the lips and that is Virat Kohli who are you looking forward to today Virat Kohli it's a no brainer for everyone so of course uh, and 
huge cheers to you as well for grooming the young man to be who he is today. But uh, I just try to understand from you a little bit of technicalities there because uh, uh, a lot of people look forward to that mm. analysis. Uh, do you think that the home advantage with uh, over one lakh fans in the stadium and then of course a billion of us supporting the team from outside, do you think there will be a huge factor in this game, sir? Well, definitely, it is going to be a huge factor because uh, uh, about uh, one uh, lakh people would be cheering for India and uh, blue and you know the atmosphere is going to be electric and mm. uh, mind you, it is a pressure game and uh, uh, though Australians are very, uh, uh, I mean, very tough mentally, but I think with such crowd and with uh, India's form, I think uh, they'll have, uh, they'll feel the pressure today because India has done so well uh, till now, they have won all their 10 matches. But uh, Australia had uh, problems, uh, you know, when uh, they reached here. So, uh, uh, reached in the final. So, India has got a lot of advantage and the home wicket, uh, home, uh, you know, conditions are going to help, you know. So, that way, it is going to be very, very uh, good for India and uh, hopefully India will do well. They will keep their momentum going. The team is in tremendous form. So, I think it is going to be a, a, a good, uh, tough match, but India has got an edge. And absolutely, at the same time, before I come back to the technicalities, Mr. Sharma, a lot of people are also wondering, have you had a word with Virat before the match yesterday, maybe? If you can share something, what was his mindset like? Uh, look, he is always very positive, you know, and uh, whenever it is a tough game, it is a big game, he always prepares well, which is what he must have done today also. And I'm very hopeful the way he's playing, the way he has performed in the whole tournament. He'll continue his form, he knows his responsibility and uh, I mean, he's the main batsman, he's the senior most batsman in the team. So, he knows his responsibility and uh, by God's grace, he has been able to fulfill those expectations uh, till now in this World Cup and I'm hopeful that he'll carry on uh, t uh, today also. At the same time, Mr. Sharma, Ahmedabad has been one of the lowest scoring pitches uh, in this World Cup. What do you think the captain then perhaps he needs uh, to choose if we do actually win the toss? Uh, looking at the past record, I believe, uh, you know, here uh, the team winning the toss would like to bat first because it gets slower, you know, after uh, in the second phase, it gets slower. So, it becomes difficult for the batsman to bat because ball doesn't come, it mm. stops. So, I think the team winning the toss would like to bat and uh, as it is, it is a pressure game. So, uh, anybody would like to put a big score on the board and put pressure on the other team. At the same time, Mr. Rajkumar, what would be an ideal score then, batting first, as per you? If India, if India wins uh, the toss and bat first, I think uh, 300 uh, and above would be a very good uh, score. Because we have got a very good uh, bowling lineup and uh, all our three fast bowlers are doing well. And then the most important uh, would be Kuldeep Yadav here because mm. he's going to play a very important role uh, with the, the Ravindra Deja because the Australians are not known to play uh, spin very well. So, I think he would be the key factor. And at the same time, as you said, uh, you know, uh, Australia just has one proper spinner in the form of Zampa. Do you see somewhere that factor hurting them today? Definitely. Uh, that is their weak point. You know, Zampa is the only uh, uh, leg spinner they have. And uh, though Maxwell sometimes bowls, but he's not a regular bowler. And even uh, Zampa, I think India should not be scared of uh, because they have played him so, uh, so many times. They have played him in IPLs also and they have done well against him. So, I think pressure would be on Zampa rather than on Indian batsmen. And that is the weak link of Australian team that they doesn't have good spinners in their uh, you know rank. And Mr. Sharma, considering that this is not a high-scoring pitch, uh, how crucial will the first hour be? Well, uh, the, the, the first hour will uh, set the tone for this uh, big match, you know. And whosoever do well in the first power play will have a tremendous advantage. Uh, if India bats first and they score somewhere around even 60 and doesn't lose more than one wicket, I think uh, it will be a very good start uh, uh, looking at the wicket. So, the first hour would be the most crucial part of uh, this uh, match because it is a high pressure uh, match and you know, whosoever absorbs the pressure better will do well. Okay, 
Mr. Jama, uh, that was, of course, a bit of the analysis, and I'm sure you'll be back with us to take us, uh, you know, over through some of uh, your thoughts on that. But I want to ask some lighter questions as, uh, again, uh, you know, from you. Just, uh, I just want to understand from you, how do you plan on viewing the match today? Is it going to be with family and friends? Are you ho hosting uh, the viewing party for all your family and friends today? I'm at Ahmedabad only. <laughs> I'm watching the match live, and uh, I would be sitting in the stadium only to watch the match and uh, wish for the Indian uh, team also, cheering for Indian team. And if you could give uh, one message to the Indian uh, cricket team today, it's a big, big day. And like I said, there are so many people to take stress, there are so many people feeling the pressure, but we just want to send those positive vibes towards our boys. So if you could, you know, if there was one thing that you could say to them right now, what would it be? Uh, nothing much, just stick to the basics, do what uh, they have been doing in, in this uh, tournament. The momentum is with us, the morale is high. So keep the good work going and uh, just play to your potential. Help each other and uh, all the very best. Absolutely. Mr. Sharma, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Sunil, yes. in case you're... Can yeah. I toss over to you? Absolutely. Okay. My colleague uh, Sunil Kalra also joins us on the broadcast. Uh, Sunil, I'm sure you have more technical questions there uh, uh, for Mr. This Sharma. This is technical. This is purely national part of it. But I just want to know, uh, sir, good morning. Uh, just wanted to know that do you have Virat Kohli's friends along uh, watching the match? If yes, uh, are, they, are they around? Can we see them on the, on the scrape? Yeah, yeah, they're all around here and, you know, they're all uh, preparing to go to the stadium and getting ready in blue shirts, uh, Indian uh, t-shirts and uh, they would be cheering loud, you know, and they've come all the way from England uh, to cheer him up. So, uh, right now, uh, I have got one guy uh, who has come, a dear friend of mine who is a cricketer and uh, I would like to toss him uh, to him. He's Mr. Ajit Tyagi, a former cricketer. He's come from Dubai. Mr. Tyagi. Just, just wanted to understand, what makes you travel all across the world to watch the Indian team play? Right. Mr. Tyagi, I'll repeat it again. What makes it so yeah. enticing for a fan and a former, for a former cricketer like you to come and watch the match throughout and follow the Indian cricket team? It's a, life, it's a lifetime event. Wow. It's a lifetime event and we've been watching uh, these boys, you know, from last 20 mm -hmm. years, you know, mm -hmm. Virat and his, his uh, entire team. So this is something, if they win it, it's a lifetime, uh, you know, event, which we can even discuss with our, you know, kids and coming in, you know, uh, uh, with the future generation. Absolutely. So, uh, it's for yeah, posterity. Yeah, yeah. We, we do realize. So did you manage to watch all the matches or only the semi-final and the we, final? No, we, we managed, we saw every, most of the, uh, uh, on the TV, wherever we were, and but we we followed the entire tournament and it has been so fantastic uh, uh, you know for for india uh, you know it's it's amazing it's amazing you know the it's just like cake walk you know moving in in in, in a garden absolutely cake walk it is uh, does it remind you of the west indies of the 80s or the australia of the 2000 the way india has been playing especially this particular team you've been watching it for four four five decades now mr tyagi yes Yep, uh, it definitely reminds the Australians. They had so much of uh, talent. They were all winners at one point of time. And, uh, you know, West Indies were, of course, a, a long time back. But uh, Australians are real, you know, very recent history. So yeah. that reminds, this this team reminds the, uh, you know, Australians, actually. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Pleasure to have you there. Also joining me in the studio is... Uh, my colleague and someone who's been watching this development over the last 45 days is Tasmin Granger, the international player. Uh, and if he can have her in the studio and if he can see. Tasmin, welcome to the show. Morning, thank you. How are you? Absolutely. Do you, are you all excited about today's match? Oh, how, how do you see? Yeah. Definitely. I think I'd actually give anything to just get a quick trip out there and actually find myself sitting in the stadium with everybody else and just, you know, feeling it because if the atmosphere was the way it was here in Delhi just for a league match I can just imagine yet alone the final well last question before Mr. Rajkumar Sharma uh, goes off for his breakfast I know we have to uh, let him go and watch his favorite country son Virat Kohli play bat and support the Indian team uh, Rajkumar Saab uh, just on a lighter note uh, I want to ask you after the Afghanistan match it was Chola Batura party 
will the chola bhatura happen or or the thepla in the dokla will happen after the match uh, it would be a great celebration sunil uh, mind you it is going to be big big celebration uh, yeah. and uh, i think uh, i mean we are all preparing for that uh, celebration from the beginning itself and uh, we are very sure that uh, that celebrations will happen and it will be a mad rush you know and uh, i'm uh, just want to just think of it that uh, i'm just visualizing how it will happen and how we will celebrate i'm sure you will get a taste of the trophy as well i think you'll be one of the very few and the early ones to get a hang of the trophy but we'll let you go right now for 20 minutes break because you know today is the entire day we are celebrating our world cup final and we'd request you to come back in 20 minutes and join our other uh, thank you channel. thank you sunil i'll thank definitely i'll i'll okay. thank you tasneem let me toss on to you Did you have your breakfast, by the way, the chola batura? That that's Virat Kohli's favorite, and the entire North India's favorite staple food on a Sunday. <laughs> no, I actually did not have chola batura, but I'm pretty sure we'll end up having that for lunch, as today is all about India yes. and what they're about to do for this tournament, in this tournament, as well as on the final of this day today. Well, I'd like to go back to my uh, other colleagues. Anurag, are you there? If I can hear him, yes. So, uh, what do you think? Should we be worried about Zampa or Pat Cummins is uh, our staple breakfast food for the Indians because he hasn't been taking wickets at all? Uh, yes, he hasn't been taking wickets at all. But uh, Pat Cummins, I think he just picked up a few wickets last game. And to be honest. uh this is one of those games like if you look at how the tournament has panned out i mean obviously all of us have seen it uh if both team both teams play to their full potential india is going to win by 70 runs or more i think that's what is going to happen and well, i think we saw that's the kind of form that we are in right now and that's the kind of what uh uh you know all round combination that we've shown and each and every player has turned up it's like you cannot pinpoint one person and you can say he is underperforming our most underperforming player it has also been incredibly incredibly good so i'm i'm pretty hopeful of a win uh, india really will have to underperform significantly for something bad to happen well that's interesting we'll also have mr k shrinivas mohammed siraj coach joining us where we'll be asking him the technical thing of how he managed to pitch the ball up just like the englishman but talking about uh, the point that you made in in the previous answer you know somehow we were used to the demigods and the big and the iconic players in each team you had the bothams and the bob willis and and then you come down you had the imran khans the wasim akram and then you come down to sunil gavaskar kapil dev so on and so forth but this world cup if you if you look at it very closely does not have too many stars it is led by a team of well oiled machinery mechanism faceless guys who who come in and deliver and they come in and deliver at a time when you least expect shreya sayer is one example of that mohammad shami who was cooling the benches at some stage and just comes in and takes a fifer do you think this is what the new nomenclature of indian team is no is that for me yeah that's for you uh, uh yes uh, i think that uh that's the positive side isn't it i mean if you look at the great australian team obviously they had one or two big names like we have rohit sharma and virat kohli right now but on a given day a big performance could come from anyone i think that's what a good team should always have and in case uh, one of the big names doesn't work out you always have uh, even the other ones are doing uh, well in the tournament can, as well so i'm so sorry i'll have to interrupt you here we have the coach of mohammad siraj right now I think we we've got his audio right, and uh, Mr. Kray Shrinivas, uh, welcome to the show. Good morning, big day for you and for the country. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank we can you, see you, sir, in your yeah. coaching academy, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Big day. What have yeah, you spoken to that's... Siraj in yesterday and day before? Yeah. Yeah, this is a big day for India also. Right. For the Indians also. Sir, I managed. I managed to understand his uh, bowling, sir. He you, he manages to keep the ball. He pitches it slightly up, and that's where the swing takes place. Was he always that kind of a bowler? जो swing के ऊपर ज़्यादा ध्यान रखता था, ball ऊँची आगे रखता था. अन्य नहीं. इससे पहले तो वो बहुत ज़्यादा hit deck को hit करता था. He used to hit the deck. Okay. Go on. Now he is pitching up. Now he is pitching up. That's why he is getting lethal now. 
सर ये जो लेट स्विंग है द लेट स्विंग दैट ही इज मैनेज टू पिक अप इन द लास्ट वन ईयर हाउ डिड इट हैपन आई मीन द फैंस वॉन्ट टू नो बिकॉज दिस इज दिस इज इन दैपन वेर नो बैट्समैन हैज मैनेज टू ब्रेक दिस ये पहले इंग्लैंड इंग्लिश प्लेयर या काउंटी प्लेयर्स के पास ये एक्ट था वुड यू एग्री टू दैट यस यस बिकॉज ही लास्ट इन द लास्ट सिक्स एट मंथ ही वर्क ऑन इज रिस्क पोजिशन right if you can explain how that is how he's managed to put the wrist in a very stable condition so that the delivery goes straight and in the last second it just turns can you explain it our viewers sir mr shrinivas yeah see see at the uh, the loading point just be, just before the loading point before his loading was some, something was different it was unnatural but now he has changed his loading point right <laughs> so the wrist position is is pointing towards the slip when he points when he down swing is when he rotate his arm up see that that comes the wrist position comes automatically straight there 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 we will get the back more back spin so the stream travels very straight in there there it swings late mr shrivas i'm just wondering yeah. when was the last time you you had a look at his wrist position and you said now it's good to go before the world cup was it like couple of months before the world cup or during the world cup no the uh, last sri lanka just uh, during the sri lanka asia cup right go on sir yeah there he got the six wicket because of that swing only lovely yes yeah. this is what we wanted to know that how technically because we were every expert including my kathitan whether it's nasser hussain the sky sports the australian cricket team everyone wants to know how and when did he manage because you know these days you crack the television thing by doing replays and everything on that but uh, what we managed to see was a different uh, siraj all together and what about his batting sir did you manage to work hard with his batting as well in the nets did he enjoy see we actually uh, present condition indian condition indian batting life you don't need batting i think <laughs> well that's a good good point again sir just tell us about the early childhood memories of siraj because he came from a very humble background and yes, uh, yes. and noel david was telling us that you worked really hard on him and created him the man that he is today sir pehle was he always like a angry young man kind of a thing he would give a stare to the batsman or he was like a good obedient front bencher no see obedient be obedient fast bowler can't be obedient <laughs> go on sir yeah see that quality makes him a fast bowler yeah so that aggression he needs an aggression see many people they have pace but they don't have aggression they lack aggression right so lot of fast bowlers we have seen but they lack aggression see fast bowler need aggression from where that from where that the pace will come right is he mentally very tough as compared to the other fast bowlers you're saying he's got the skill he's got the speed is he very yeah you have seen, you have seen you have seen even being hit for 20 runs he'll come back very hard right right and in today's match so who do you think is more susceptible to get out to siraj because the technique of uh, warner has cracked him in the sense warner knows his uh, style of bowling do you think the travis said and the other batters would cause a uh, little problem to him see he is very dangerous for left arm left arm batsman yeah because he's got an away swinger that away takes away swinger and he has an angle uh, angle seeming ball is there there uh, warner and travis at are very uh, terrible to him well mr shrinivas will uh, let you go with this uh, in this transmission but we will request you to join us back because what you've given to the country is an enormous gift and a talent that india can savor and he's really played a a big role in creating that big talent for india and getting india into the final sir mr shrinivas yes. i thank you and request yes. you to join back after india. some time we are, we are proud of your present indian team and just like very working very see the indian team is playing like a unit now yes finally it's playing like a unit and very rarely you see the the fast bowlers and the pacers leading the pack and leading that yes. especially in india yes 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 right first time first time it's happening in india right the mr shrinivas i thank you very much on this live television i go back to anurag and ask him what is exactly that going in india's way especially when they open the bowling you know from one side is jaspreet brumbara who who drives the runs and on the other side you have shami taking the wicket 
would you agree to uh, that the statistically that uh, when you look at it yes uh, yes that is the case and especially uh, in this world cup we've seen openers want to go all out uh, they want to maximize these opening 10 overs and when you have an asset like a priceless asset like jasprit bumrah whom the batsmen don't want to attack uh, you automatically have such an advantage uh, and that is where they try to overdo things against uh, someone like a shami or a siraj and they end up throwing their wickets away because somewhere down the line they they think they can just get the better of the other bowlers and they end up giving their wickets to them i think that's where we see in a lot of tournaments that bumrah has played he might not end up having the most wickets but eventually it is the, that fear factor that he develops that that plays a very very big role well uh, tasneem look at the pictures on the screen right now look at uh, the festivity you know happening there at this point of time are you excited that you were here in india to be a part of the world cup which is supposed to be the biggest in the world yeah definitely you know um we stay in one of those closed gated communities and from about i think 6 o'clock this morning people have been walking around on the road chanting india and they're carrying flags and you know people are dressed in their cricket jerseys and everything and it's it's just been a vibe the whole morning i'm pretty sure most of them didn't probably sleep as well probably getting geared up for this as well so it's not just the atmosphere i'm sure at the stadiums but it's it's the atmosphere around the whole country actually yep it's an interesting thing anurag what what's been the scene in mumbai uh currently i'm in hyderabad uh the scene is is that pretty much every uh place where there is a big screen it's sold out <laughs> it's very difficult to get a table anywhere most people have to just sit and watch at home i guess uh, but yeah that's what we've been uh we along with a lot of our friends we're trying to make some plans work out i hope at least one of it does well absolutely tasneem we've come this far what has been that one image that be, uh, goes in your mind right now when you look at the world cup one image that you can when you're flying back to bulawayo what is it that one image that comes to you man apart from taking the cricket kit back with you which is a great news for you right now on live television um i think probably you know um i, I can't separate it to one moment 45 days packed into an entirely crazy hectic busy schedule and you know i think it's it's a lot it's everything i carry a lot back home with me from the experience because it's from being in studios it's been at the ground it's just the interaction i'm a people person as well so just the time i've spent with the people around me as well i think that's definitely something to take away from because at the end of the day all you carry with you is the memories so um it's it's definitely been an amazing experience for me being here definitely and what more a better stage to do it on than the world cup cricket absolutely for the world cup cricket uh, it's a great stage great opportunity to to be working and and working with different nationalities just talk about uh, the colleagues that you have that international colleagues that you've been working because broadcast is an important part although we are not the host broadcasters but at the same time we've been there live since 7 o'clock in the morning till last night 10 o'clock yeah yeah definitely so so just talk us through about your colleagues from south africa and other parts of the world so at least the fans can get some view you know point. for me it's it's not just you know the people you live with and the people you interact with here but as a player as well getting the perspective from the guests we have on this show some of the greats that have played the game and some of the greats are still involved in the game as well as you know just people with a voice out there that actually take their time that that do the thing i do you know eat sleep breathe cricket that it's everything about cricket type of sort of thing and i think for me it's spectacular you know i we have the ever hilarious commentary and bluntness of david brooks alongside us we have the likes of you know a lot of greats that have we've had roland on our show as well tatenda taibu guys from back home that i've looked up to most of my career christopher mpofu a lot of a lot a lot of very important people and i think not only has it probably just change the way i think about my game personally but probably give me fruit for thought as well of possible things that can make a difference in my career still as well well absolutely well anurag do you think this has become like the uh, the world economic forum or the gag- the gathering at the day was or something like that when you have a big international tournament happening in india it's like festivity because today what you see on your television in few hours is the aeroplanes taking the ride and 
and there's a concert happening, there's many things happening, then there is some serious discussion of ICC. The reason why we said DEVOS, uh, the World Economic Forum, is that's where the economic policies are made. In India, in the next three days, the future of cricket will be written, that will be followed in the next decade. Do you think this has become the epicenter of it, India? Uh, yes, in many ways, like for a long period of time, India has been the epicenter of the cricketing economy at least. Uh, we can definitely say so, the kind of revenue that uh, we CCI generates and the kind of uh, strength that we eventually have, uh, not just in, in, uh, at the top level, but even at the domestic level, a lot of uh, uh, every every team is get at every level is playing to get so many matches. And yes, uh, in the next few days, we are going to see so much. Uh, I think it, today's match also holds great significance for the so-called dying future of uh, ODI cricket because I think what. I think a lot of people have been shocked by the kind of response the Indian fans have been uh, showing, especially towards ODI cricket, which especially in the West, a lot of people were considering is dead, uh, dead for, as a dead format. Well, uh, I've been just hang on to the watching. hang on yeah. to that thought. We've been discussing about it for a week now, and I'm uh, yeah. we are we are missing uh, David Brooks on this particular transmission. But vociferously, do you think this format will survive? Because it has been from a 60-over World Cup to a 50-over World Cup. Now they wanted to even shorten it or just let go of it, your views, very urgently. Uh, I would personally love to see it uh, go, go through a, for a long period of time. Uh, the only concern that a lot of people have been uh, telling, uh, putting out is that uh, you know fans do not have as much time to spend unless it's a very big event. Uh, which is understandable, but I don't think, uh, especially the kind of turnout that uh, uh, India has uh, shown this in this World Cup, I don't think uh, the end is anywhere near. Well, absolutely. Tasneem, you've got a point of view on this particular uh, issue about the about 50 over game. Yeah, is you this... know, I think it's um, it's not oh. one of I'm, I'm not all for the decision of it being scrapped as well because. I'll keep saying it again and again. For me, you know, the associate member nations that do not have test playing status in the likes of the Netherlands as well as Afghanistan, you just look at the progress they've made this World Cup alone. They're usually teams that come into this tournament and are considered just an extra two points to anybody else. But if you scrap the bilateral ODI series, when do they actually get practice time to get better? Yes, they may be losing bilateral series, but they take pointers from that. They gain growth from that as well. And they've shown coming into this tournament that they're not just here as people that are simply just here to be counted, get a participation trophy, but more that they can compete. We do know the things they've done. We've seen the upsets they've caused this World Cup as well. And I believe they deserve a fit, fighting chance as well to be able to grow and come to these tournaments. Well, absolutely. That's an interesting point. Before we wind up the show, I'd like to go to the coach of uh, Mohammed Siraj, Mr. Srinivas. Mr. Srinivas, one last quick word from you. If you were to advise and pick up a phone and call up Siraj, what would you tell him two, three things today to do right against the Aussies? Yeah, ask, just just ask him to pitch up. Just just move the ball. Just swing the ball. Please uh, exploit the conditions. Simple and keep it simple. Just just do, don't go for wicket. Just try to contain. Simple wickets will get automatically. Absolutely. And what if he is bowling in the second inning, sir? Still, second is second. Second inning is always uh, the chasing team. The chasing team will have the pressure. So. If we go for uh, if he's going for wickets means we leagues are run. So I just I'll ask him to just maintain that uh, uncertain areas where batsman will be in the dilemma. So well, that's a, exactly what we wanted to know. Is it possible for you to tell us the final conversation you had with him over the phone, the last conversation? Did you tell him the same or did you tell him that you're sending the halim and the biryani from Hyderabad to Ahmedabad? No, once we celebrate, see, we'll have a big party here once India wins. Well, absolutely, sir. We all wait and hope that the party happens with him bringing the camp back to the city. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.